Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my memory spread and this is for the week of October 12th through the 18th. And as you are probably aware, um, this week is long past, but I'm going back in to journal everything that has happened, um, which is how I have been preferring to use this planner. Um, so for this week, I have a kit from Simply Said Life. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys what comes in this kit. On this page, we have the eight full boxes, a full bow checklist, and then three habit trackers. Here we have some quarter boxes and third boxes, a couple half boxes, some bill do stickers, um, more bow checklists, and then two Monday through Sunday boxes for the sidebar. And then this page is foiled. So we've got some hexagon and circle icons, some mini flags, text stickers, these bow headers here, some three bow checklists, and then some more headers here at the bottom, like text headers. And then the last page is also foiled. We have, no, it goes this way. We've got the date cover the bottom washi, some washi strips, um, a canceled and not today sticker, and then like a little scallop label and some flags. So there's a ton of different types of stickers packed into this kit. And I actually forgot that it was foiled because um, I had the kit sitting like this. Um, so I'm really excited to see that it is foiled. Um, and I will definitely be pulling in more gold foil to match this kit. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. And as usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi. Before I get started on my spread, I just wanted to say that I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. For those of you who live here in the US and celebrate Thanksgiving, um, I know the holidays probably looked very different for you guys this year. Um, it did for us because we decided not to go home to see family um, just because, you know, it's really not safe. I am going into work and we just didn't want to take that risk. Um, so however you ended up celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful time. Um, now moving into my spread, I placed down the bottom washi and also the full box at the very top. I chose the quote box to go in the top corner and now I'm just placing down all of the date covers. I pulled in these date dots. I believe they were leftover ones from Nikki plus three. Moving back to my sidebar, I first placed down a bow header and a habit tracker to track my working out. Then I used a foiled thankful header to mark my happy moments because of course I am thankful for my happy moments so I thought that worked out nicely. And then I used a dinners header to mark my dinners for the week. At the very bottom, there was a little bit of space, so I just closed it off with a piece of washi. And then that gold foiled workout sticker you see me place down is from Right Brain Paper Co. I'm now moving into Monday, and the first thing I placed down is a foiled to-do header. Then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my usual coffee Monday that I like to get. Um, I'm always really tired come Monday morning, so I definitely always need coffee coming back from the weekend. I then had a testing appointment at work, um, so to mark that, I used a little flag from the kit and layered that glasses sticker from the Pretty Pink Co. on top of it. I used a foiled bow divider from Samantha May Sticks, and then I placed down a full box underneath that. I always have to kind of be strategic about where I'm placing my boxes because of these gray headers on the recollections. But anyways, moving to the bottom, I used a foiled header with a quarter box, or I think it's a third box actually. And that house icon is from Right Brain Paper Co. I use that to mark house hunting, which my boyfriend and I have been doing um, for the last month. We just put an offer in on a house like last week, so we are in the escrow process which is super crazy and just there's so much to learn but it's very exciting hopefully everything goes well but we'll kind of see um, but anyways so at this point we were still house hunting and at the bottom I used a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that night one of the things I did was paint my nails so I pulled in this nail polish sticker from planning like a pro on Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom. Then I decided to switch out the one that I used on Monday because I think I wanted to separate the boxes with like the little outfits on it. Um, so because I decided to use that one on Tuesday, I decided to choose a different one for Monday instead. I also switched out the color of the bow header and um, replaced that one I pulled up on Monday at the top of Tuesday. On that little thin quarter box I placed down, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that we had another heat wave here, even though we were like in the middle of October, but it was still so warm. It's finally cooled down, so I'm really thrilled about that. Um, but then underneath that, I used a long flag with a pencil from Samantha May Sticks to mark that I had a really busy testing day on Tuesday. 
Underneath that, I used a third box, and I think that heart sticker came in the kit. I used that to mark getting a catered lunch on Tuesday, courtesy of our admin, which was really nice of them. Um, and then underneath that, I used a foiled icon that was also from the kit to mark an afternoon meeting that I had. Because I wanted to write down a student name, um, I just left that blank, and you'll see that throughout my planning where if I have confidential information, I will write that in after filming. I did a little adjusting because I ran out of room. Um, that blank header I pulled in is from Planner Just For You. Those have really come in handy, even though the color of that doesn't match my planner perfectly. I think it's pretty close where it doesn't bother me too much. And then in that third box, I placed down a phone sticker from Panabird Designs to mark that I FaceTimed with my sister that evening. Moving on to Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then I used a bow header, and then underneath that I placed down a quarter box with this little asterisk sticker that came in the kit to mark a morning meeting that I had. I always have a morning staff meeting on Wednesday, so you'll see me marking that pretty much weekly. Um, I then had a training, like a virtual training that I had to do, um, so I decided to mark that using a cell phone icon, and I believe that one is from the Pretty Pink Co. To mark an IEP meeting that I had later in the afternoon, I used another flag that came in the kit and then I met up with a few of my old coworkers to do like a little outdoors happy hour. Um, that was really nice. It was great to see them and just kind of catch up with where everybody is right now. Um, that drink sticker that I placed down, the gold foiled one, I believe is from the Pretty Pink Co. as well. I recently got a ton of foiled icons and it's been really hard for me to remember which shop they were from, but um, I just double checked, so that's correct. And then underneath that, I did more house hunting when I got home. So I used that hexagon heart icon that came in the kit. And then at the very bottom, I just wanted to mark relaxing for the rest of the night. And that little sleeping mask sticker is from Simply Said Life, which is the same shop that this kit is from. On Thursday, I first started by placing down a quarter box at the very top. Then I used that little foil laptop from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I did some report writing that morning. I've had a ton of reports to write because we are catching up with our spring assessments that we missed and also doing all the new fall ones. Um, so it's just been super crazy lately. I've had like double the amount of work, which is why I haven't had a lot of time to work on videos. Um, but anyways, underneath that, I used another asterisk to mark what I had for lunch. In the afternoon, we had another staff meeting. So to mark that, I used a third box and this working girl sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. I placed down a full box underneath that and then used a bow header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did when I got home. I actually managed to do a workout on Thursday, which I was really proud of myself for doing because it's just so hard to work out when I get home late. Um, but I actually managed to squeeze one in and that shoe sticker I believe is from Paper Muse Crafts. At the end of the night, we FaceTime one of our friends who is now our realtor. Um, it's been really fun getting to work with him because we basically get to hang out with our friend while looking at houses. And um, yeah, it just has made the process so much easier. And he's just obviously someone that we can trust. Um, so anyways, to mark that, I used a phone sticker. And that one is from the Pretty Pink Co. I just realized that the foiled phone icon I used on Wednesday is actually from Planning Like a Pro. Like I said, I just got so many new foiled icons. It's like so hard to keep track of. Um, but anyways, then moving to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom before I moved to the top. I started the day by placing down a bow header. Um, I used another heart hexagon from the kit to mark that it was finally Friday. I'm always so excited when Friday comes around because I'm just so, so tired from the work week. I had another testing appointment with a student on Friday, um, so I decided to use this really pretty pen sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that. On that third box, I placed down this French fry sticker and that's from Paper and Milk. And just to add a little shine to it, I used this little bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs in the center. I then stopped by the post office on my way home to mail out my last giveaway for leftover stickers. And that foiled mailbox icon is from Magic Prince Co. I managed to do another workout on Friday, yay. Um, so I decided to use a dumbbell sticker, which is from a shop that's no longer open. And then that workout script is from Right Brain Paper Co. It's the same one that I used in my sidebar. Then in the remaining space, I just marked that we did more house hunting. We were pretty much like on Redfin and Zillow almost every single night. Um, it takes up so much time looking at things. And it was really crazy how fast homes were selling. I think it's been such a seller's market because the interest rates are so low. Oh my gosh, I feel like such an adult talking 
talking about this. Like this is like not something I knew at all prior to starting this process. Um, so anyways, moving on, um, on the weekend, I actually placed down the weekend banner at the very top. It's very thin. Um, so I decided to white out the header behind it so that you can't see the gray underneath. And I just thought that was so pretty. I love how delicate that weekend banner is. Then I placed down a full box at the top of Saturday and Saturday is like my favorite day of the year. It was just something that I had decided when I was 11 and 20 years later, here I am still celebrating my favorite day. Um, so anyways, I wanted to mark that. So I put that on a half box. I do later replace this because I wanted to add more foiling. So you'll see that in just a few minutes. The first thing I did on Saturday was take a walk to Starbucks to grab some pumpkin spice latte and to mark that I used this coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker. Underneath that I then decided to condense the next few things that we did on a checklist so that I could save some space. Um, I used an important header with this three bow checklist and one of the things that we did was grab some beers at a local brewery so I put down this beer sticker and I believe that one is also from Simply Said Life. This is where I decided to switch out how I marked October 17th. Um, I decided to use this really pretty half scallop from Panabur Designs instead, and I paired it with this gold foiled heart icon from Clever Gal Crafts. Um, and I really, really like how I marked that. I just think it added so much like elegance and it was so pretty. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with how that turned out. And then at the very bottom of Saturday, we went to a friend's house and made some sushi and then watched Annabelle, which is like a horror film. Definitely not something I wanted to do, but because it was October, and spooky season I just went along with it um that sushi icon is from mochi kichi and that was it for Saturday Moving on to Sunday, the first thing I do is place down a bow header. Um, I initially used a quarter box to mark that I did some cleaning in the morning. That foiled cleaning icon is from the kit. And then I used a heart to mark that one of my best friends came into town to visit and spend the night. Um, she did get a COVID test beforehand and was obviously negative. So it definitely minimized the risk. Um, but I decided to change how I marked this because I needed some more space. So I ended up not marking that I cleaned the house because I felt like it wasn't really that important anyway. Um, so I marked that my friend came down on the half box and used this foiled asterisk from the kit. I then took a page from this planner that I wasn't going to be using and I just cut up a square that I ended up using as like faux whiteout to cover up the space underneath because it was just such a hot mess with like the whiteout and the gray header. So I just used this as a way of um, basically like whiting out that space. And on that, I placed down a shoe sticker. I think this one is from Planning Like a Pro to mark that we did a hike down in Laguna Beach, which was beautiful. And then we grabbed some lunch. So to mark that, I used this little sushi icon from paper and milk. I then placed down the full box underneath and then I used a quarter box with a little emoji in a bathing suit. That's from the Coffee Monsters Co. because we went down to the beach and had a beach day, which was so lovely. I swear the ocean has like healing properties because I just always feel so much better whenever I take a trip to the beach. And then um, we ended up going to a brewery at the end of the day. So I used this beer icon, which I think is from Happy Sherpa Papery. At the end of the night, I just wanted to mark that my friend stayed over, um, so I pulled in this bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. That was it for my week. It was definitely a lovely week celebrating my favorite day of the year, and now I'm just moving back to my sidebar to track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. Um, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys all of these stickers that are left in this kit. Now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling. I feel like it's been a few weeks since I've pulled in foils, so it's definitely really great to see um, all that shine in my planner. It's just like so pretty. And now I'm just giving you guys a walkthrough so you can see more details of the foiling in this spread. I honestly love how this turned out and I purposely saved this kit for this particular week because of my favorite day. Um, I always tried to pick like my favorite fall kit to use for this week. So um, yeah, this one definitely was very special. I just love this artwork. I think it's so gorgeous and um, I really like how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Um, I hope you guys again had a great Thanksgiving. Um, if you were able to spend it with your family, I hope you you know really cherish those moments because they're so few and far between this year with COVID and everything going on. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for sticking with me. No matter how long it takes me to get up a video, um, you guys are honestly always so sweet about it and I appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. With that said, I'm going to end this video here and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.